morning everyone today we are at Nara Inlet um, in the Whitsunday Islands in Australia very very beautiful in here it's like a very long um, narrow inlet I guess and uh, it's very well protected we've got some very strong southeasterly winds at the moment in fact today we have a wind warning uh, which means that the winds are going to be uh, hitting 30 knots not sure if that's just in the gusts or whether that is like sustained but either way they've issued a wind warning for this part of the coast could be a bit breezy out there in here it's pretty well protected uh, we're woken up at about 4 a.m with some swirl coming in um, but that's okay it's still really nice and comfortable which is one of the joys of living on a catamaran i guess you know looking at the mono holes in the sank ridge and they're not looking nearly so comfortable so yeah we we know that feeling well, don't we, Nick? Yes, hello. Yes. Today we are going to a place called Sid Harbour. Apparently this is a harbour where there have been numerous shark attacks in recent years. So the advice is don't go swimming. Apparently it's a very beautiful harbour and a good place to anchor and protect ourselves from uh, these really strong southeasterlies that are blowing through. So in about an hour's time, we'll head off, back down the inlet and uh, around to Whitsunday Island and Sid Harbour. Good morning. Another very strong wind warning. It's um, 30, 35 knots. It'll be gusting higher than that around the headlands. So we are tucked in. Currently we are in Nara Inlet, which is uh, where these fantastic indigenous paintings are. What we have today is we've got wind coming from the southeast. So we're gonna have um, swell blowing through these inlets. So I think what we're gonna do is just stick, we're gonna come out of Nara, head through this channel here, sticking close to the 10 meter contour line because that gives us the maximum relief that we can. So we're gonna head out of Nara, skirt the 10 meter line, and then head into Sid, which gives us protection from everywhere but the north. And also, you know, as we're looking around, we should, you'll get some swell wrapping around, but not a lot, I don't think. today is not a sailing day there's a strong wind warning of 30 knots I think it's a bear poles kind of day for those of you who've got catamarans let us know whether in 30 knots you would have your sails up because I'm interested to know I think in um, I'm on a hole like in Ruby Rose we definitely obviously we would have had you know the three reefs in the main and a little scrap of jib out and we'd be absolutely belting along um, but I don't know, we're not experienced enough yet in um, sailing catamarans to be comfortable with that. And this is a charter boat 
and the charter company has a policy that above 25 knots you take your sails down so we're just going to follow that advice and um, just and I mean all of that is true however we also um, are literally going into the wind right now so unless we wanted to tack which obviously in a catamaran the tacking angle is not ideal uh, about 50 degrees probably uh, as in you can sail 50 degrees to the wind so probably about 100 degree tacking angle um, yeah it'll take us bloody forever to get down there so yes <laughs> no sails today just powering through this chop and this wind and uh, yeah it's choppy it's windy it's a lot of salt water coming over that deck through the trampolines but the boat feels really solid you know I don't think there's any problems with boat handling it blustery, grey, windy, moody day. We are just anchoring up in, um, where are we? Sid Harbour. But this is pretty well protected. Good spot, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Just reversing. All right. Yeah, yesterday we had some problems with the um, anchor chain coming off the gypsy. Just, you know at the wrong moment as we're trying to anchor in quite a uh, quite a crowded little inlet in Nara Inlet um, so yeah that was that was interesting but um, I think at the moment it seems to be okay. I reckon this is as comfortable and protected as we're gonna get to be honest. Sure. I think we're gonna go and go for a little walk through the uh, there's like a track that we can take, like a little coastal track, and find a nice little picnic area. We've got our packed sandwiches, we've got a little um, bit of water, so we're gonna go and hopefully not get rained on. <laughs> I literally just fell head first into the dinghy. I literally just like face planted my way into the dinghy just then trying to get from the boat into the rib. It's possibly my least graceful moment for a while. I uh, hit my shoulder and my elbow, leg has a big scrape on it. So <laughs> I'm feeling a bit bruised about it right now. I thought you were just getting into a dinghy and I didn't know you were going to turn into like a massive circus act where you bounce off of the front of it <laughs> and then face plant into the sea. So there are two hikes here um, and the other one is up to Whitsunday Peak I think it's called. I really want to do that one but I think today I don't know if the visibility is really good enough for the views to be as spectacular as they can be so I think we're gonna come back and do that another time, which would be really cool. I must say, I really love, I love living on a boat, I love being on the boat, but I love getting off the boat and going for a nice little walk. Um, I don't mind a bit of a challenging hike actually, but this is not in that category. This is just a, a little stroll to another little beach with um, picnic tables and something to sit and have um, our lunch. This is just so lovely and peaceful. Well, you know, we've sailed to a lot of different places um, in our time <laughs> so far, and we've sailed to some very kind of serene, isolated places, but mainly we've stuck to areas that are pretty busy you know, where there's um, a lot of cruisers or a lot of charter boats. And it's kind of hard to find that time to yourself and that kind of sense of isolation. And we're not getting it here. The Whitsundays is a very popular charter uh, base, but there's still, you know, these islands, are, a lot of them are, you know, national park, they're deserted. There's no population here. There's no facilities here. It's literally just 
you know, a fairly wild island with a few hiking trails and that's it. You come ashore and go for a little explore and it does kind of feel like you've got the place to yourself. And actually we do. There's, we haven't come across anyone else so far. So it's really lovely, very serene and peaceful. for you guys furry thing found another spider for you there can you see on the leaf no what leaf it, it it's on the green leaf no, no on the green leaf it's on the green leaf and it's it looks brown it's a brown spider Mother <laughs> that's like what? <laughs> we saw those um spiders in new south wales babe I mean, I hope that these paths are relatively well maintained because I don't want to be like, have a spider like oh, strung yeah. across the path. You see how you when you get those face hugger things? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it wouldn't be a trip to Australia without seeing something kind of <laughs> eight legged. Mental. <laughs> the eight legged groove machine. Anyone who can remember what the eight legged groove machine was? Famous album. By whom? Well, someone's got a comment. Play One of my game. favourite albums from my 20s. No, I was a... No, just a... No, not even 20, I don't think. I was in my teens. And that was a very, very long time ago. A very, very when God was in short trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, just like that, the wind has completely dropped off. It's quite spooky actually. It's like not a breath of wind in this anchorage. There's still some raindrops falling on my head. But um, yeah, this anchorage is suddenly like completely silent and really, really still. A little bit of breeze just picking up now. Beautiful actually. I do kind of love days like this. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I don't know. I love a bit of a moody day. Nick, you're not allowed to make a joke. Enjoy it. I know I bet you about it. I love it. I love it when it rains on boats like this. I know it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Just got to get some uh, logs on the fire. No, we can't do that. We can get a lovely cup of tea going. Get a nice cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Get a fuck up. on a boat which is why I need to be but thank you for watching this week's episode video should be more formal but this is it this is what you get um, I hope you enjoyed it we are continuing our journey through the Whit Sundays on this catamaran so if you like what you've seen 
Um, hit the like button. Give us a subscription if you haven't already done so. And we will see you all next week. So goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.